Hello and welcome to third grade daily number workout. Today we're on the number 37. So let's write that out in word form. 30, T-H-I-R-T-Y, 37, S-E-V-E-N. And since seven is in the ones place value, this is an odd number. All right, let's go on to factors of 37. So the factors are one and 37, and that is it folks, one and 37. So because one and 37 are the only factors, it is a prime number. All right, let's get into addition. So I'll put it right next to here. We're gonna stack them up because it's our numbers are getting a little bit bigger. So let's stack them up 37 plus one. So we have seven plus one is eight. Three plus nothing is three. This is great practice. So important for us to practice addition as well as subtraction and multiplication. Seven plus two is nine, three plus nothing is three. 37 plus three. Seven plus three is 10, we drop the zero, carry the one, one plus three is four. 37 plus four. Seven plus four is 11, drop the one, carry the one, one plus three is four. 37 plus five. Seven plus five is 12, drop the two, carry the one, one plus three is four. 37 plus six. Seven plus six is 13, drop the three, carry the one, one plus three is four. 37 plus seven. Seven plus seven is 14, drop the four, carry the one. One plus three is four. 37 plus eight. Seven plus eight is 15, drop the five, carry the one. One plus three is four. These are basic addition facts. So it's important for us to know them. 37 plus nine. Seven plus nine is 16, drop the six, carry the one. One plus three is four. And then we have 37 plus 10. Seven plus zero is zero. Three plus one is, I'm sorry. Seven plus zero is seven, silly me. And three plus one is four. So it's 47, try to see that. All right, now let's do our subtraction. We're gonna start with 47. So I'm gonna put this up here. You should have followed along and got that one. So I'm gonna do 47 minus 37. So let me just double check, make sure you can see everything. Yep. So seven minus seven is zero. Four minus three is 10 or one, which equals 10. 46 minus 37. So six minus seven, we can't do. So we got to borrow from the four, leaving it three and making that 16 minus seven is nine. Three minus three is nothing. 45 minus 37. Seven from five, can't do. Borrow from the four, leaving three, making that 15 minus seven is eight. Three minus three, nothing. 44 minus 37. Seven from four, can't do, borrow from the four, leaving three, making that 14 minus seven is seven, three minus three, nothing. 43 minus 37. Seven from three, can't do, borrow from the four, leaving three, making that 13 minus seven is six, three minus three, nothing. 42 minus 37. Seven from two, can't do, Borrow from the four, making it three and changing that to 12 minus seven is five. Three minus three, nothing. 41 minus 37. Seven from one, can't do. Borrow from the four, leaving three, making that 11 minus seven is four. 
Three minus three, nothing. 40 minus 37. Seven from zero, can't do. Borrow from the four, leaving three, making that 10 minus seven is three. Three minus three, nothing. 39 minus 37. Nine minus seven is two. Three minus three is nothing. 38 minus 37. Eight minus seven is one. Three minus three, nothing. All right, we did great with that. Let's go for multiplication. So I'm gonna remove some of these so we can fit. And you should have done all this work ahead and you're just checking your work and seeing how you did. If you have any mistakes, just put a line through it and write it out somewhere else on your page or turn it over real quick and write it on the back. That works great. All right, we're going for multiplication. I'm just gonna cover that up a little bit. And we're gonna do 37 times two. We know one times 37 would be 37. So two times seven is 14, drop the four. Let me make sure we're on here. Carry the one. Two times three is six plus the one is seven. Let's do 37 times three. That would be three 37s. Three times seven is 21, drop the one, carry the two. Three times three is nine plus two is 11. I'm gonna put a little comma there. So these are multiples of 37. 37 times four. Seven times, I'm sorry, four times seven is 28. Drop the eight, carry the two. Four times three is 12, plus the two is 14. All right, then we got 37 times five. Five times seven is 35, drop the five, carry the three. Five times three is 15 plus three is 18. So it's 185, 37 times six. Six times seven is 42, drop the two, carry the four. Six times three is 18 plus four is 22. 37 times seven is next. Seven times seven is 49, drop the nine, carry the four. Seven times three is 21 plus four is 25. Let's do 37 times eight. That is eight 37s. Eight times seven is 56. Drop the six, carry the five. Eight times three is 24 plus five is 29. 37 times nine. Nine times seven is 63. Drop the three carry the six. Nine times three is 27, plus six is 33. Hmm, isn't that interesting? Look at that. There's a pattern. Do you see it? Every, oh, they're all got to do with multiples of three. See the three, six, nine? Hmm, interesting. Every third one. Let's do 37 times 10. We drop that zero to hold that place. And one times seven is seven. One times three is three. Any number times 10 is that number with the zero in the ones place. So there we have it. Our multiplication for today. That's our good practice. Let's move on to our measurement where we're talking inches, feet, and yards. So I'll lay those out. All right, so today our number is 37 inches. And remember, we convert this into fractions because it takes 12 inches to make a foot. So we're gonna change that to 12 as our denominator, the bottom number, and 37 as the numerator. And we're gonna break this down into 12. So we know Three twelves make 36. Three, oops, I'm sorry. Three twelves make 36. These are 12 over 12. That's a 12. 12 over 12. And then there's one more to make 37. So 12 plus 12 is 24, plus 12 more is 36, plus one more is 37. So we know we have one, two, three, three whole, make that three as big as a fraction, and one twelfth, look at this, I'm out of control here. All right, three and one twelfth feet. 
So 37 inches is the same as three and 12, one twelfth foot, which is equal to, and we're gonna do 37 over 36. And we can get a 36 out of that, right? 36 over 36 plus one over 36. So that means we have one and one 36 yard. So there we have that. So let's go on to our metric system. So we have centimeters, we have decimeters, and we have meters. We're gonna fit those all on here. So today's number is 37. So we have 37 centimeters. I'm gonna start way over here so I have plenty of room. And we know it takes 10 centimeters to make a decimeter. So we're gonna put this over 10. And that would be 10 over 10 plus 10 over 10 plus 10 over 10 plus seven over 10, because we have 10, 20, 37. And we can tell we have three whole decimeters and seven tenths. So 37 centimeters equals three and seven tenths decimeters, which equals 37 hundredths of a meter. All right, that's our number 37 for today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.